Hi there, I'm Jesus Christ, Betcha Capitalist. What if I told you that I was gonna murder you? And the only way that you could stop me was by you letting me bang your wife, and then killing the child that she gave birth to later. Sound like a lot of bullshit, doesn't it? What if I told you that to two billion people, it's holy shit. The producers of The Ten Plagues, The Crusades, and Resident Evil Retribution bring you Christianity, the world's greatest rift. And it can be yours right now for one easy payment of freedom from taxation and prosecution. I know what you're thinking. What can Christianity do for me? The question is, what can Christianity do for you? Because what you've got two and a half billion of the most uneducated and or deluded people wearing what you wear, doing what you say, masturbating as frequently as you tell them to, there's no limit to what you can do. Think you got paper stacks, bro? Check this shit out. Cause I'm about to go to the strip club, and you know when JC rolls in, y'all getting twenties in your titties. Except for this. This one's for your mom. If she can handle the second coming. Oh! I know what you're thinking. Who is this guy? What the shit does he know? Well, I've been doing this a couple thousand years. Let me tell you one thing I've learned. You can't take it with you when you go. So why don't you make sure these poor bastards can't take it with them when they're here? My name is Jesus Hussein Christ, and I've got one question to ask you. What good is fearing God when you can sell him? Dude, Woody Allen's super fucked up. You can't just fuck your daughter like that, man. Oh, dude, like, if you had a hot daughter, you wouldn't fuck her, right? That's... You watch daddy-daughter porn all the time, bro! That's different. That is, that's total fantasy, man. I can't come to a Woody Allen movie. So Woody Allen is living out his fantasy. What's the deal, oh. dude? Dude, what a... Piss so bad, I could drown soon you. Word! Oh, shit. That's a lot nicer than I was expecting from a park. Yeah, this is... Oh, check that out! There's a hole in that wall. Yeah, dude, that's a glory hole. Glory like that slave movie? No, Ferris Bueller has nothing to do with this. That is the latest in dick-sucking technology. You put your dick in there, man, and as if by magic, it gets sucked right off. Dude, sucked off? I use this thing all the time, bro. No, 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 no. like, you get to come. Oh, Here, let me check this out. I'll go with that. See, look. Yeah? Eh? Eh? <laughs> oh, sweet! Yeah, right? Well, I'm gonna get my Ferris Bueller a day off. Oh, sweet reference, dude. High five. Yeah! Holy shit, dude! I just got my dick sucked in there! Dude, get the fuck out of here! I just sucked off this hot chick's dick! Hell yeah, dude! I didn't know hot chicks had dicks! Dude, this one did totally hot. Awesome. How'd you know she was hot? I don't know. I could, like, taste it. It was like, uh... Tropical, pineapple or something. Oh, no shit, dude. I've been drinking pineapple juice all week. Ooh. Oh. Dude, we both got lucky. Hey! Hey! <laughs> Get over Come here, bro. Oh, you're my bro, bro. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Oh, best best blow blow job, job ever! Oh, oh, shit. Shit. <laughs> no back oh. stuff! Oh, oh yeah, totally. <laughs> <laughs> And now to interrupt your stupid hippie sketch bullshit with a message from the President of the United States. Good evening, my fellow Americans. I am your President. John Fitzgerald Kennedy. There's been a lot of talk in the uh, news about how I have been soft on communism. But if there are two things that Jack Kennedy 
is never soft with its broads in communism to show the uh, American people that Jack Kennedy is rock hard on communism. I have procured this, sir, uh, voodoo doll. Of the famous guerrilla rebel, Ernesto Che Guevara. Take this, you Kwame pig. Shove this pork sausage up your uh, bay of pigs, you call me swine. Take that. You see, this is what happens when you question Jack Kennedy's integrity. And now, more reading hour with children, with my lovely wife, Jackie Kennedy. Hey kids, how you doing? It's Jackie O here. <laughs> I told you that right now, right here in America, there's something that could strike me down right where I stand. No, no, I'm not. I'm not talking about my cigarette. Everyone knows those are perfectly safe. No, I'm talking about a less seductively flavorful killer. One that could strike anyone, anytime, anywhere. Take Thad O'Houlihan from Upper Buck Crack, Wisconsin. He's an insurance salesman settling in with his new wife and finally accepting that his life has become a sitcom farce with alcoholism instead of a laugh track. But suddenly! <laughs> killed in the prime of his life by that most vicious killer of men. The worst disease ever inflicted upon humanity. Sid. Sudden Infant Death Syndrome. I know what you're thinking. I'm an adult. It can't happen to me. Well, you're wrong. Just like Melvin Von Hammer Smythe of Cowshit, Connecticut. He lay dead on his apartment floor for weeks, and his roommates were too busy smoking marijuana cigarettes to discover that he smelled even worse than usual. Oh, well, you still don't believe me, do you? Well, that's fine. Just fine. Because Andrea Garcia Fitch of Could Think of a Third Name Joke, New Jersey, thought the exact same thing. She didn't believe in SIDS either. And now she's dead. Are you gonna look her now orphaned children in the face and say, I'm sorry, little Billy, I don't believe in what killed your mother? Why, I think that might make you a murderer. So, to atone for your vicious matricide, there are a few signs that you should look out for in order to prevent the further spread of this vicious scourge. Sign one, is the patient dead? Well, I hope you were paying attention, because the first line of defense against SIDS is a well-informed and well-panicked public. But wait, there's more. You see, we haven't yet told you how you can defend against SIDS. You see, it's it's very simple. All you have to do... Man, there is some talent tonight. Yes, there is. Oh, and it's the apocalypse? Jesus Christ. Man, it's gonna be like a shooting fish in a bear. No, wait, I take it back. It's gonna be more like that time your mom was at the Christmas party? 
Dude, shut the fuck up. I've never even met my dad before. Really not my problem. We're losing focus here. Can you speak for yourself? It's time to... It's time to go snatch some snatch. Yeah, that's a good line. Lost that one. Fuck you. Hey, you know, this apocalypse has been a long time coming. Guess who's got two thumbs and also takes a long time coming? This guy! <laughs> Ew. Ew. Um, hey, how's it going? Hey. Um, I just came in to, uh, snatch some snatch. Okay. Alright, let's get out of here. Dude, what the fuck are you doing? I told you to use the line. I thought you were being sarcastic. Me too! Come on, man. There's gotta be more than one way to scare a pussy. Alright, flying off the cuff. And I like where your head's at. She totally dig me, dude. She smells her intensity. Now's the time to pounce. Hey, baby. What do you say the two of us go out and bang? What? I mean, uh, go out, and go out with a bang, you know, because it's the apocalypse. Uh, no. God, no. I thought you were gonna fall out of your seat and choke on your vomit. I was gonna call the ambulance, not touch you. Hey, you ever seen two girls, one cup? Ew. You could be the cup. That's it. It's all over. You're gonna die a virgin. Your couch is more action than you, and that was all from your mom. No! Not like this. You still got coming. You can get some couch action of your own. You just gotta let the world know you're ready. And lower your standards. Oh, please! Please! Just have sex with me! Fuck me! Fuck me so hard! Please, just have sex with me. I'll fuck you. Oh, Baby, I'm gonna make you a man. Do you, do you have a snatch that I can snatch? I got more snacks than you can handle. Will make like awful. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, give me a Sloan. <laughs> I have procured this her uh, voodoo doll of the famous Gorilla Rebel Fidel Castro. <laughs> 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 Um, Pick it. sure. Right. Now show it to the camera, but I must not see. All right. Now place it back upon the deck. Or in, in the deck, you mean? Upon. It's a magician term. All right, now. Bingo, bingo. Presto, changeo. And uh, is this your card? Ah, uh, no. No, it's not. <laughs> That's a good one, pal. Is that actually the card? <laughs> it's okay if you put it in your mom. It's not okay if you put it in your child. I got more snacks than you can handle.